Chemotherapy for prostate cancer is a certain type, a certain family of chemotherapies that we use, which have a specific mechanism of action. That is to hold the cell stable such that the prostate cancer cell can't move nutrients around the cell to keep its vital functions going. As such, the cells will usually die to some extent because they can't carry on the vital functions that they need to keep themselves alive. Chemotherapy in the context of prostate cancer is a treatment which is used to control the cancer. But we use it specifically in two situations. One is when men have prostate cancer that has spread from the get-go. So men who unfortunately, when they first find out they have prostate cancer, it's in a number of bones in particular or other vital organs. And another situation we use chemotherapy in prostate cancer is when the men have had the initial hormone treatments, be they injections and tablets, and even then the cancer is still growing. The bottom line is it helps men live longer. So we wouldn't give chemotherapy if it didn't help men live longer and help men live better. Chemotherapy for prostate cancer is not at all like chemotherapy on television. Men do not spend the day nauseous, throwing up in a bucket, lying face down in bed, unable to move. They might be off their food for a couple of days. They might feel a little bit tired, but nothing dramatic. So that in the short term side effects, certainly there's a loss of appetite and there may be a loss of energy. In the second week, the men might start to lose their hair with one of the chemotherapies in particular. And also in this, into the second week, that's when the immune system might be slightly lowered because of the chemotherapy. So one of the golden rules of chemotherapy is if you have a fever, then you need to notify your medical professional and or attend an emergency department. Fevers whilst you're having chemotherapy can be serious and they'll probably need to be treated with intravenous antibiotics. So the long-term side effects from the chemotherapy are limited. Some of the tingling in the fingers and toes can be permanent, although that's the job of the oncologist to talk with the patient and to understand how much they're affected and if it becomes severe, to stop the chemotherapy so that they don't end up with numb fingers and toes.